OK, well, this game may not decide who wins the title, but it may well decide who loses it. Your commentary team, high up at the Santiago Bernabeu, Jerry Armstrong and Rob Palmer. You say we're high up. I imagine they can see this stadium from the moon this evening. 400 million pairs of eyes are cast on the beautifully illuminated Estadio Bernabeu, a lush green stage where some of the greatest ever entertainers in the world of sport bid to outmarvel each other tonight. Lionel Messi against Cristiano Ronaldo, just one of the many matchups of some of the top talent in world football. As always at Real Madrid, the entry to the stadium is perfectly orchestrated. Those are white flags, but not white flags that are going to say that Real are going to give up the title. At the moment, of course, this game is second against third in La Liga because Atletico have taken charge of their head-to-head -head rulings by winning earlier today. But this is one of the most season-shaping matches that you're ever going to see. Well, not a seat to be had inside the Bernabeu. Down on the uh, streets today, the tickets were going for around 900 euros. Well, let's have a look at the teams of Real Madrid first of all. Their side really selects itself for Carlos Ancelotti. There's no experimentation this time. He can just hear, of course, is restricted to playing cup keeper Diego Lopez, looking for his 13th clean sheet of the season. Gareth Bale withdrawn after 61 minutes of the new cap in October, but he's fully fit and he's fully initiated now. He'll be providing a silver service to Cristiano Ronaldo. And when it comes to Barcelona, well, their selection was more tricky. Tata Martino has tinkered with his team. The team that blasted off the Cine for seven last week. Pedro and Alexis have both scored, replaced by two arguably bigger names. The expensive recruit Neymar and Cesc Fabregas. Well, before the game, we're going to have a minute's silence inside the Estadio Bernabeu. Sadly, today, the former Prime Minister, Adolfo Suarez, who took control of Spain after the Franco era, he sadly passed away. And there'll be a minute's tribute. Adolfo Suarez remembered the man who became president of Spain, the first elected president, or should I say prime minister, after Franco passed away. His job was to unite this country. He did that reasonably well, apart from when it came to a Classico evening. Nobody sits on the fence in this one, apart from maybe that man, Alberto Undianamayenko, the ninth time he's taken charge of El Gran Classico. Well, it's the 168. That's Liga Classic, and of course, there's still a chance that Pierre may play in the cup final. But here is Benzema. Bowing down on goal. That's the man who scored that goal after 23 seconds a couple of years back. Well, outstretched leg here. That's that's the tackle. It's not a free kick for me. Outstretched leg of Gareth Bale. Nicks the ball just in the important time. This is the breakaway from Neymar. And there's the tight angle I was talking about, Rob. Difficult to beat. 
and this is the chance for Benzema. He snatches out of his left foot, doesn't really hit him. They've had nine shutouts in 11 games here. Yeah, Rob, you're right. 42 goals for and only 10 conceded. Here's Lionel Messi. Here's Messi on the blind side. Is Iniesta? Did he make that pay? Lightning strikes at the Bernabeu. Well, he's not been in the goals this season that much, but look at this finish. Lovely time pass from Messi. What a left foot strike. He scored a cracker with his left foot last week. Oh, but look at this first touch out from underneath his feet. That is a thunderous strike. And no way Diego Lopez is going to stop that. What a goal. Well, he does specialise in scoring goals against Real Madrid. And that is his 50th goal of his career. And one that he's going to cherish for the rest of his life. And look at the relief of Martino. Meanwhile, the Spanish director has found another angle of the Ronaldo penalty claim. Well, it wasn't given then, and it's not going to be given now, Rob. Well, we're looking at this break again. Look at the space now. I do feel that Carvajal's come in too much on the cover. Really has covered far too much in the central area. And that left a lot of space for Iniesta's first touch and the thunderous strike. Not a colored boots for the occasion. Gareth Bale. Deep into Barca territories. And a feed it to Benzema. There's a foul off the ball. Benzema continues. And no strength in the shot. Yeah, good break there from Gareth Bale. Showed that athleticism and the turn of pace through the middle and then fed the ball well to Benzema. He in the end gets the, the shot in, but it's... Di Maria better feet this time. Swiftly into the area. Lizzie back, Benzema! Fluffs his lines on the big stage. Well, that was nothing short of sensational, the run from that man, Di Maria. What a run. He's gone past three or four Barcelona players like they're standing still. And he tees it up so nicely here for Karim Benzema. What a, a, a poor finish that is from a top striker. You've got to put them away. That's a fabulous chance. One thing I'll say about this Real Madrid side is they do create opportunities, Rob. And he goes across Barcelona, control the ball, look at the control from Messi. Bang on side, can he finish it? No. Lionel Messi could. Wow, what a great chance for the little man to increase the lead. And there's a lot of people appealing for offside. Appealing for offside, and he's not as the ball's paid. You can see Marcelo steps up, it's a crossover, really tough one. Lee beat them here this season oh, look at Messi this. great ball Neymar takes it in his stride has to steady himself stopped once by Pepe and then Pepe is uh, in contact wrong side though before the build-up Rob I have to say Marcelo was wrong side look you can see Neymar's got five yards on him and he really has to hit the turbo to get back in again a little bit fortunate I think though Great acceleration, lovely change of pace. That's a wonderful challenge from Pepe. We've seen many videos where the slices have gone this week regarding the transfer. Santos apparently only got 14 million of that. Bale. That's the second step. Bale. Di Maria's cross. Benzema fighting one. got a hand to it he'll feel he should have kept it out but Benzema is away celebrating well this game certainly living up to the bill and Rob that's a fabulous cross from Di Maria who's been on form from the first kickoff and you're right you can see the shake of the head from Victor Valdez he does get a hand to it but the power in the header it's generated from this cross he towers above everybody Karim Benzema Super cross from Di Maria. Look at that header. And he gets his hand to it. It's just too powerful. He can't stop it. The power of the header from Karim Benzema into the top corner. I believe oh. Valdez thought he'd save that and he was Tim waiting for the replay. But he doesn't want to see the replay. He was close to pushing it onto the post. He knows he came close to it. If only his wrist had been a little bit stronger, I think he's feeling. Well, this is not good. The referee is calling here for the stretcher, and the medical men are very quick. 
onto the pitch. Yeah, but it's Di Maria, Rob. <laughs> he can recover very quickly. I just wonder what happened to him. And the header was a much more difficult chance than the one that Di Maria created from earlier. Well, it's very concerning. The rest of his teammates have headed back into the round half of the field. After celebrating the goal, but Di Maria lies down there. Well, he's starting to set up, which is encouraging. Well, he looks absolutely stunned now, Hal Gimaria. He looks as if he's semi-conscious, Rob, to be honest. He looks... He's sort of celebrated, everybody goes away, and he doubles over. And then he goes down. Well, Spanish host directors... They're uh, playing with a replay, and he's uh, he's led off the park. He's no. over by the corner flag, receiving treatment. Another Feels time. back to go to football tonight. Entertaining, enthralling. Always oh, exciting. Fourth with the game gone. Di Maria has space, cuts it in. Benzema! Oh, he's second! Oh my goodness. Di Maria got off his sick bed to create that one, and it was a Benzema blast. Well, he might have missed the sitter in the first seven or eight minutes, Karim Benzema, but he's made up for it since, and what a game. Di Maria's haven't done this left-hand side, Rob. He is on fire. I don't know what sort of medicine the physios gave him on the touchline, but he's come back again. Bigger and better. Look at this. Lovely run, plenty of space, head up, cuts it in. Chest control, and then bang, back of the net. Another wonderful piece of skill from Di Maria and Karim Benzema. Fabulous goal. And they're in front now, Real Madrid, and the fans are going crazy. Well, this was number nine work at its very best. Perfect control. Didn't even hit the ground. The perfect volley. Oh, Rob, it's quality. See the control in his thigh. He's actually turning, controlling it, setting it up in the right angle, just to volley it in the back of the net. And look at Ancelotti, how much did he enjoy that? Ball was too big for Mascherano, he was trying to get ahead on it in front of Karim Benzema. I just felt he should have been a little bit... Messi tries to quicken the game, bounces off Ramos, plays it into Neymar, slow to react, but Messi's not! Oh, little Messi individually brings Barcelona back into the game. Uh, oh, 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 there's a problem. Inching it off the ball, Rob. And the referee Pepe. instinctively reaches for the card. And it had been a rather friendly Classico until that point. Well, Pepe's down and out. Well, it all kicked off as uh, Barcelona headed away to celebrate. And the referee is going to show the yellow card once Pepe comes round to his senses. Well, it, it says, is it says Fabregas? It is, it says and both Pepe, of them. Both dark. Something and nothing, was it? Well. They're both play acting, if you're asking me. Somebody going to get the ball out of the box, and we've got about the quality of the goal, and Messi's great first touch. He played the little one-two, got the rebound, stuck in the bottom corner of the net, which is what he does best. And Lionel Messi, 32 goals this season, 19 in the league, and that's a big one, a massive goal for Barcelona to bring him back. And pure entertainment. Classic, classic go. Oh, Carvajal. Stop by now, but he won't go away. Come on, cross the line, Benzema. Oh my goodness! He scored two. He could have had five. Wow. Well, he's had one cleared off the line by Gerard Piquet. This one is so close to the far post. It's untrue. We're talking a couple of inches wide of the far post, and Victor Valdez is looking on. And this is the build-up to the goal, Messi. A little bit of good luck there. There's a tackle. It's actually 
I think Carvajal who nicks the ball away, but it goes straight to the feet of Messi, and Messi comes in and sticks it in the bottom corner. And our Spanish director showing us the show of petulance as the half-time whistle goes. Well, it has lived up to the billing, and he has to give him Barcelona the lead, then Benzema with a the brace, then Lionel Messi took it upon himself. Oh, oh, that's a great run from Gareth Bale. Bale to Benzema! What a Brilliant save. start by Valdez. Danger hasn't gone away. Cristian Ronaldo. Di Maria over the head of Benzema. Bale comes flying in. But the referee saw that as a foul. Oh, that's a good challenge, I thought. It was hung up at the far post. But what a scintillating run from Gareth Bale. He explodes through the middle. And great ball to Karim Benzema, hits the target, big save from Victor Valdez, that's a fabulous save. And Benzema's had six chances in the match, Rob. He threw it then. Di Maria. Now Ronaldo. Into the area where they have to be careful, he's down, it's a penalty! As soon as he crossed the white line, the alarms were flashing. Dani Alves isn't happy. He was the culprit, Rob. Great feet. Great feet. I don't know what Sergio Ramos asking. He's, is he complaining about the not getting the free kick for Di Maria? Look at the quick free feet here. He, he looks outside when he actually gets contact. Well, he clearly thinks that he was a goal-scoring opportunity and he would want that to be a red card but I think he's maybe stretching things here I think he is stretching things and I'll tell you uh, this is outside the box there, you are. there it is it's at least six inches outside the box and he falls in and that's going to be a big controversy tomorrow in the newspapers if and it scores if Ronaldo scores it Ronaldo and it again on the big stage in the big game he gets the big goal. 26 in the league, Rob. 42 goals for the season. A massive, massive goal. Oh. Super goal. Great strike. Keeper guesses the right way, but Cristiano puts enough pace and power and accuracy into that bottom left-hand corner. And Victor Valdez can do nothing about it. But it's all going to be about the controversy. Was it a penalty or not? Because for me, he was contacted outside the penalty area. Well, it was the perfect penalty. Messi scored. Ronaldo scored. Five goals in the game. Only ten minutes gone in the second half. Well, the front three now have got 79 goals between them. Gareth Bale, Karim Benzema and Cristiano Ronaldo have scored. Sputin, but free kicks given and Ronaldo's on the ball. Ronaldo cuts it across, Benzema regains, a little lovely back flick, Bale, and it needed saving, Valdez got all of his angles correctly worked out. Oh, when these front three are on song, Ronaldo cuts it back here for Karim Benzema, who can't get the shot and tees it up for Gareth Bale, tight angle, shot on target, good save, big save, once again from Victor Valdez. To be honest, Rob, but for Victor for thought. Xavi takes his time, surveying who's making the movement in the centre. Comes out to Iniesta. Oh, some shot. Oh, it looks like he's taking a flexion, I'll tell you what. It's a snapshot from the edge of the box. Left footed again from Andres Iniesta. Let's have a look. Oh, it must have hit Gareth Bale because it didn't. Yeah, it does hit Gareth Bale. It wasn't a save from Having to dig in here. Messi. Good ball. Perfect pass. Neymar. Big chance. Taken down. And that's a penalty. A red. And a red. Well, the law says it has to be a clear goal scoring opportunity. Some may say he was going away from goal, but even then he had a chance of scoring. And Sergio Ramos, who does has a pretty big rap sheet, gets his 19th red career, red card of his career. Well, is he offside, Rob? Not just leaning offside. That's the question, and he doesn't need to pull him in. Marcelo was maybe even just still a cover player. It's a bit harsh, the red card, I think.
Did he actually catch it? I'm not sure. Did he actually catch I'm it? Not sure. Well, next week he may have a right to appeal that red card. But Real Madrid are going to have to play the last quarter of this game. A man down. Well, at one end, Cristiano Ronaldo tucked a penalty away. And now the world's eyes are watching Messi. Wow. And Messi does what Ronaldo did and makes it 3-3. Very emphatic finish, that one. Steady run up and hammered it with the left foot. Well, what a game we've got now, 3-3. I don't think he does touch him, Rob. He doesn't look as if he makes that much contact, if any contact at all. Well, he does it catch may his be left the leg. slight touch on the left, left leg. Yep. That's where he does make the contact, and that's why he goes down. What a strike from Dani Alves, outside the box, Rob. You can see it's teed up here by Messi. One touch, bang. Bottom right hand post, straight out again. How lucky was that? Lucky for Real Madrid, unlucky for Dani Alves and Barcelona. Back the last time they lost was against Barcelona. And Xavi played the game after that, and they haven't lost since. Oh, he goes down, down and the referee took no time at all to give the third penalty of the match. I have to say it didn't look, my first reaction was it didn't look like a penalty. Did not look like a penalty. Well, Senor Alberto Undiana Mayanko was perfectly placed. Surrounded by the Real Madrid delegation. Iniesta took the ball. Well, he, he's tried to go in between a space that wasn't really there. He's done well there initially. Was it clumsy from Alonso? It's going to be clumsy, but I think he's looking for it, Rob. You can see he's just trying to get into a space that's not there, and he throws himself to the ground. And he's got it. He's got the decision. He has the decision, and this will be sensational with seven minutes to go. Lionel Messi is stepping up to take the penalty kick. It'll be his third goal, his hat-trick. And it will be pretty sensational because they need to win the game. He didn't miss a penalty against Atletico. He has scored tonight. Even the great Lionel Messi looks a little pensive. It's Messi, and it's a massive goal in La Liga. It keeps Barcelona's season alive. And it may mean that it's not goodbye to Tata Martino just yet. A little Messi hat-trick. The little genius has done it again. There's a substitution, warmed up, stripped off. It's Isco down in the touchline. He's going to come on. I don't know who's going to be replacing, but Isco is coming on, and it's gamble time now. They've got seven or eight minutes to save the game. I wonder will he go with a defender, a full-back? Well, still they complain. And Chubby Alonso has taken it maybe a few words too far. That was a brilliant penalty, wasn't it? Top corner, unsavable. Wow, he, he, listen, he has so much composure, Rob. You know, his composure is unbelievable. And the referee signals the end of a dramatic match where the referee has been a central figure in it. Two penalties, a red card, a messy hat trick, a goal early on. He's had everything. You can see the Barcelona players celebrating as a complete team because this has put them back, Jerry Armstrong, in the title equation. It certainly has. What a fantastic result. They needed the win more than Real Madrid needed the win. Madrid went in front 2-1. You know, they were... Three